Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bita, aka your virtual licensed esthetician. In today's video, I recently purchased the Double Shot Dry Bar Blow Dry Brush. Let me tell you why I didn't go with the Revlon because years ago, I was traumatized their heating tools just don't work well for me and I don't like them. Simple as that. As you can see, I have really coarse, thick hair and it's bleached. So the Revlon heating tools are extremely hot. It's not like an even heating surface, you know? Back in the day when I was using it, it completely melted my hair off. So why would I buy another Revlon heating tool? It's just not worth the risk to me. I've heard a lot of good things about this, but I have a really good blow dryer, so I never really felt the need to get it. And then the other day, I was on Instagram, and here for the tea, Sam had posted that she got this, and I was like, <laughs> it was meant to be, it's a sign, I need to buy it. So then I posted it when it arrived, I got so many requests and questions if this works, and I figured why not? make a video and see if this works together. Obviously, I didn't wanna start with like completely drenched hair. So what I did is I took a shower this morning after I worked out, I wrapped it in a towel and that's it. Then I took the towel off and this is kind of what I got. So still kind of damp, um, but it's dry. Common sense, you don't wanna apply something like this straight to soaking hair. Before we apply any heat, I wanna go in with my Olaplex Bond Smoother. Oops. And then I like to add a little bit of bonding oil to it, just, this concoction smells like cotton candy. And then really I focus on my ends and like the front areas because that's where I have the most bleach and damage. Shout out to quarantine for really reviving my hair. I did get it done in Arizona. I want to say June-ish, um, which caused these parts to melt off. But my hair is like, seriously, it's never looked this good. So I cannot complain. And I haven't even had a Brazilian blowout. I don't know what's going on. But like, do you see? I actually have curl. This is a clear indication for me that my hair is going from fried to health. So, what we're gonna do, section off the top. I think I'm gonna need clips, but I don't have clips. So, we're gonna have to make it work with what we got. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Let me read a direction or two. So we have the Double Shot Blow Dryer Brush. It says features and benefits. Blow drying has never been easier. It combines the hot air of a blow dryer and the structure of a round brush to create a smooth, shiny blowout with tons of volume in one simple step, which is honestly the reason why I was tempted to get it because even though I have a really good blow dryer, I hate blowing it out with a brush. Like, it's so much easier if it's two in one. Um, a faster blowout, three temperatures, speed settings, maximum airflow, and ergonomic design make blow drying a breeze for all hair types. I will be the judge of that. Goodbye frizz, ionic technology helps seal the cuticle for smoother, shinier, frizz free. I mean, I am not a hairstylist, but from my understanding, what ionic technology does, just like little, when we wash our hair, little water molecules are inside of it, so ionic technology helps push them out without causing frizz and helps seal and make your hair look very shiny. I could be wrong. If you're a hairdresser, feel free to chime in. Um, but that's just what I understand. And then it says, Hello Volume, a blend of nylon and tufted bristles, which are these. Bristles grip hair to detangle and smooth strands with the oval shaped barrel provides added volume. Again, I will be the judge of this. This definitely looks like my good heavy duty brushes that I use when I 
am not lazy and I want to blow dry my hair for like that nice voluminous blowout but your girl is lazy so we don't do that anymore nowadays I just use a flat brush that has dents and use a blow dryer and my hair gets dried super quick the styling tips it says after shampooing thoroughly towel dry hair to remove excess water brush out hair using a detangling brush or comb I definitely think they should insert in here do not apply this to wet hair for volume at the root use horizontally at the crown the double shot can be also used on dry hair to create a smooth finished look for thick or long hair it may be necessary to rough dry hair with a regular blow dryer before using okay so that makes sense my hair I can't put like a styling, a heat styler straight to it when it's drenched. So I wait. Um, it was just clarified. Let's jump into this. So we're gonna go all the way. Wow, I'm shocked. Who would have thought? So far, freaking amazing. Like, what the actual f I cannot believe that something like this is working like this. All right, let's seal the deal. The top is the most important for me because this is like how the hair frames the face. Let me make sure it's cute. I can't get over this. 
Holy moly, I look like I just got a professional blow dry. Oh my God. Oh my God, like what? I haven't really used a product that had a lot of hype around it and it actually be good. This is actually good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just shocked. I have trust issues with everything online. I feel like it's all false advertisement, especially on Instagram. You're sold a mother effing lie. And then here we are. Oh, okay. My opinions. I absolutely love this. There are a few questions I have just in general of how this will, the wear and tear of this. Usually with brushes that have bristles, I switch them out every quarter, like every 10 to 12 weeks if I'm using it a lot for blow drying because the bristles tend to kind of wear out. So I'm curious how this works. I don't know how this would work. I am not returning this. I am obsessed with it. I think it's amazing. Look at my hair. Growing up, I watched my mom spend a lot of money getting her hair blow dried. So then it kind of transferred to me thinking like, oh, I'm gonna get weekly blow dries. And then I started getting them and I was like, ain't nobody got this kind of money to be wasting. So I think in college, I was like, I worked at a salon. So everyone was my friend and they would blow dry my hair. But then after college, it was either my nails or get weekly blow dries. So it was, my nails. So I think if you're the type of person who really loves this blowout look, you're going to love this. Price point, let's talk about that. This is 150. I think it's fair, fairly priced, considering that a good hairbrush is anywhere between 30 to 50, and then a good blow dryer is about $200. So 150, not bad. I didn't notice this getting too hot. It was the perfect temperature. I think if you do have areas of your hair that are like more brittle or bleached, you might not wanna hold the brush on for too long. I like this swivel, it's easy. I like that it has this part, you hold it, it doesn't get hot, it doesn't burn your hands. It's very well thought out in terms of its specs. Um, you could work your hair, especially if you have really thick hair, it works really well. So if I don't have the luxury of time, I'm gonna have to use a blow dryer to get my hair to its state of dryness, and then I would do this. So if I was traveling, I probably wouldn't travel with this if I didn't for sure know my hotel has a blow dryer that I can use to rough dry, if that makes sense. And that it's not a Revlon blow dryer because those hotel blow dryers, let me tell you, those have melted my hair as well. So I just, I just don't do well with these like hot tools that aren't quality controlled. If you try it, let me know what you think. You could tweet me or slide in my DMs. Um, that's it guys. I am ready for the party. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and tell everybody that you know to subscribe, your brother, uncle, cousin, sister, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, bye-bye.